Hey my natural sisters and brothers, welcome back to my channel, Naturally Natural's Way, and it's your girl Tatiana B. And I'm coming to you all with um, another video today. I'm going to be doing a protective style. Um, I think I'm going to be doing box braids. Well, I know I'm going to be doing box braids. So I want you all to stay tuned with me and watch me do box, braid, box braids using the rubber band, um, rubber band method. So I went ahead and just parted my hair off camera just so... You guys will see that I'm just doing a rubber band. Just showing you some of my parts here. This didn't take long. This took about um, about 45 minutes to just put the rubber bands in. Then I ran out of rubber bands and had to go back to Dollar General to get more rubber bands. <laughs> Not Dollar General, the beauty supply store. So yeah, I'm going to be doing the box sprays. They're going to be probably waist length. They're going to be pretty long. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me, but hopefully it doesn't take me too long because I'm trying to go ahead and get done with these. I'm not trying to sit around for 12 hours braiding my hair. Um, I got everything sectioned off, so all I got to do is just attach the hair. And I'm just going to let you guys know right now, this is very, very beginner friendly. So go ahead and stay tuned with me. And I'm going to go ahead and get into braiding my hair. Hey, you guys. Before I start braiding, I just wanted to say that I did um, wash and deep condition my hair. I did not blow dry my hair. I do not apply heat to my hair at all. Um, but what I did was just put it in a bun on top of my head and let it air dry. And I went out of town yesterday, so it was able to air dry out the window. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I did. And that's what I just got it stretched out. And I just combed it out, made sure I detangle it well. So... Once I install the braids, I can easily just smoothly just pick the hair up and install the braids. Pick the hair up and install the braids. Alright y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and get on the camera and let y'all see me start installing these braids. I'm going to start from the back. And I would just warn y'all that when y'all do your rubber bands, start from the front. Because you want to make sure your front is the most even. You see, you want to make sure your front is the most conform. And in the back, you can, you know, kind of play with it a little bit. But you want to make sure you start off. From the front so you'll know how much hair you're using but that's just when you're doing the rubber band method but if you weren't doing the rubber band method I would say you might want to start partner from the front too that's just my from my experience all right y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I do want to show you the hair that I got before I get started um 100% connect line Alright, so I got the Silky Touch Jumbo Braid um, in 1B33, and I got a 27 pack. So, I'm going to do a little bit of blonde in the back, and then I'm going to do the black in the front, and just try to mix it up well to make it look, make it look good. Alright, so stay tuned with me to see me go ahead and do my protective style for the summer, so I can get out of this hair every day. Hey you guys, so I just wanted to um, let you all know what I'm using to um, braid my hair. So I'm using the Style Factor. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm using the Edge Booster Style Factor. And I'm using some Shine and Jam Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil. Um, styler, and that's just because I don't like using my good stuff when I'm braiding my hair, but I do like to do something decent when I'm braiding my hair. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start from the back because, like I said, I already got a rubber band and split off and um, to the part, so all I'm really doing is just braiding it pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and put this hair in a bun. Put hair down. So I just wanted to show you the back of my head so you can see exactly 
what I'm doing. I'm going to talk you all through the first two and then I'm going to play some music and let you watch me do it. So I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, I'm going to do the blonde and the black in the back and then I'll just do black in the front because I don't want a lot of um I don't want a lot of hair in the um, blonde in the front. So I just take a small amount. It's very easy. You just have to kind of gauge it off of how much hair is inside the um, rubber band. And the rubber band method, I'm just going to tell y'all, this is my first time doing the rubber band method, but it's fairly, it's fairly easy. You just It's just using it to make your braid tighter. So I just take a pinch and it's kind of like just pinch enough for my a finger all right now let's take it I smooth it out I kind of do this you see what I'm doing just pull it so it won't be so such a blunt look at the bottom you see how it's a little bit more feathery because when I wet it and dip it in the water I want it to be um my hair to be feathery so when I put it in a bun you know it goes into a bun easy. I don't want it to be boxy. So I'm just taking a little bit of edge, edge booster, taking the hair, gripping it very tight. And if you know how to single braid your regular hair, you would just take it, let me see if I can get close. Take it real tight and pull it, pull it, pull it real tight. And tight as you can, you just start braiding. It makes them like the other hair is in your way, but as you're going through, you can just kind of pull the other hair out of your way. So what I'm going to do is just start going down just a little bit. My hair is pretty long, so I usually just like my braids long. And I know a lot of people say don't borrow, but if I need to... I'll borrow a little bit, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. And you just keep braiding, braiding, braiding until you get all the way to the bottom of the braid. And make sure you braid braiding tight because if it's loose and you have natural hair, you don't want it to, um, the hair to peek out. And I would just say try to braid a little fast because you don't want to be doing this all day. <laughs> I want to get in the head and get out of it. And just kind of like put that on and just just to smoothing out my natural hair the further I get to the bottom because I want my hair to be as smooth as possible because when you have natural hair and you're applying silky hair you don't want your hair to show these braids are going to be pretty long pretty much waist length so I'm not going to take my time doing this I'm going to braid as fast as I can. I'm going to let y'all know how long it takes me, but it shouldn't take me too long. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Last time I did it, which was about three months ago, I think in March, it took me 12 hours, but I was constantly stopping. I started at 10. I got done around 12, 30, almost one o'clock in the morning. Like by the time I was able to just dip it in the hot water, I was tired. I was, I was done. So yeah, I'm just braiding 
braid it. And you want to make sure you braid it, braid it as smooth as possible because you don't want a lot of lumps. You want your braids to be as clean and professional looking as possible. And who to say what's professional because I've been to some of these people and it's not, it don't look good. But alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and keep braiding and I'm going to play some music and let you watch it. Hey y'all, so I'm almost done. Uh, pretty much only have like six more to go. It took me about four hours so far and I still gotta dip it in water and turn the ends, cut off the excess. Sorry about that. And yeah, I just got this little bit on the top and I'm gonna go ahead and finish this on camera. And then I'm gonna let you all guys see me dip my hair in the water and 
how I trim the um, frizzy parts off the braids. So stay tuned.
All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and show, um, I'm going to go ahead and dip my water in the hot, hair in the hot water, and then when I come back, I will show y'all my final results. Hey you guys, I just wanted to come up back on here and show you all the final product. Um, so it came out super long, if you see. Yeah, it's pretty long. <laughs> but it's cute. It came out super nice. And if you guys like my hair, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know um, if there's any videos that you all want to see me make. So stay tuned for more videos from me. Thank you for watching. Bye.